Hello everyone. Let's solve this um, Olympiad mathematics. We have x squared plus x squared over x plus 1 both squared equals to 3. And then from here, the first thing I want to do is to factor out x squared because we have it here and here. So x squared will come out and then in place of this I'm going to have 1 plus here I will have um, 1 over x plus 1 squared and this is equal to 3, right? Now the next thing I'm going to do is to deal with what I have in the bracket so that I will have x squared in bracket here i'm going to have x plus one squared plus one over x plus one both squared everything is equal to three remember what i did here is to find the lcm and then lcm divided by what is um we have here is the same lcm then multiply by one gave me this then this divided by itself is 1 times 1 is 1 over there, okay? And then the LCM is x plus 1 squared. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is to, you know, open the bracket at the top here, the numerator here. So for me to do that, I will have x squared plus, okay, x squared open brackets, open brackets, here we have x plus 1 in two places, x plus 1, and then I have plus 1. The whole of this is over x plus 1 squared, okay, and this is equal to 3. Do not make a mistake to cancel out the whole of this because you will be wrong. Now, x squared into brackets here now if you expand this you're going to have x squared plus 2x plus 1 then the one outside will still appear which is plus another one and then the whole of this is over x plus 1 squared now this is equal to 3 to continue we have x squared into bracket x squared plus 2x plus 2 okay everything is over x plus 1 squared and this is equal to 3 right now the next thing i'm going to do is to you know break the terms i have in the bracket so i have x x squared into brackets x squared over x plus 1 all squared plus here I have 2x plus 2 over x plus 1 all squared closes brackets and this is equal to 3. Remember that I have not changed anything okay I only split um, what we have in the terms, in the bracket. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is this. We have um, x squared into x squared over x plus 1 squared. Then plus 2 is common to this. I can factor out 2 so that I'll have x plus 1 in the bracket. And this is over x plus 1 squared, which is equal to 3. Now, what can I do? Remember that we are having x plus 1 in two places here. So, it can cancel and we have 1x plus 1 here. So, if I continue with this, we have x squared into x squared over x plus 1 squared. Then plus here now we'll be having 2 over x plus 1 and no longer squared okay 
this is equal to 3. And then from here, what do I do? Open the bracket here so that we can have x squared times x squared will give us x to the power of 4. And this is over x plus 1 squared. Plus x squared times 2 will give us 2x squared. And this is over x plus 1. The whole of this is equal to 3. Okay, so now I will take another step from here. Remember that this can be arranged as x squared over x plus 1, right? And then both of these raised to the power of 2. So that if you want to open the bracket, you have this back. Plus, now I want to factor out this 2. If 2 comes out in the bracket, I'll have x squared, and this will be over x plus 1, right? Everything is equal to 3. Now, look at this critically. We have the same thing in the bracket. So we're going to use a different letter to stand for what we have in the bracket. Now, let y be equal to x squared over x plus 1. And that means in place of this, I'm going to have y squared plus here, I'll have 2y and this is equal to 3. But then I have to bring everything to the left. So y squared plus 2y minus 3 will be equal to 0. And we can solve this using factorization method where we have y squared plus 3y minus 1y minus 3 equals 0. Because 3y minus y will give us 2y. And then 3 times minus 1 will give us minus 3. So we can group it into 2 and factorize. We have y outside here. We have 1y here. Plus here we have 3. Close this bracket. Now minus 1 is the common factor here. And then here I will have y. Negative, negative will give us positive, and I have 3 over there. This is equal to 0. And from here, we can say that y plus 3 will be on its own because I have to factor it out. And then I have y minus 1. y minus 1, both of them equal to 0. Okay, and this means that y plus 3 is equal to 0, or y minus 1 is equal to 0. If this is the case, then y is equal to minus 3 or y is equal to plus 1. But then remember that we said y is equal to um, x squared all over x plus 1. So in place of this, y equals minus 3, I will write x squared over x plus 1 is now equal to minus 3. And then if we cross multiply, we have x squared. Remember, I will still get back to y equals 1. Okay, so x squared will be equal to minus 3x minus 3. I'm cross multiplying now. So that from here, I will bring everything to the left. And I have x squared plus 3x plus 3 is equal to 0. Now we can solve this by using the formula method. And remember, if we are using the formula, then we will say x is equal to minus b, positive or negative, square root of b squared minus 4ac. This is all over 2a. B is 3 because it's the coefficient of um, x. So I will say x is equal to minus 3, then positive or negative. I have b squared and that will be 3 squared minus 4 multiplied by a is 1 multiplied by c, which is um, c is giving us um, 3. 
okay so i have three over here now this is all over two times one which is two if we continue with this x will be equal to minus three positive or negative square root of nine minus twelve and then this is still over two so that x will be equal to minus three positive or negative will have negative 3 because 9 minus 12 is minus 3 and this is over over 2 now this will give be one of the solutions to the problem in fact this problem is um, we are having two solutions in one because we can use positive here and equally use negative here so we're having two solutions now to get the other solution, we will get to where y, okay, look at this, when y is equal to 1. So I'll bring that down here. Okay, so when y is equal to 1, remember that we said y is x squared over x plus 1. And this is now equal to 1. And if you cross multiply this is what you will have x squared is equal to x plus 1 and then bring everything to the left so we can have x squared minus x minus 1 equals 0 now let's go back and use our formula x is equal to minus b positive or negative square root of b squared minus 4ac the whole of this is over 2a right and from here remember that our b is minus 1 that is the coefficient of x so we're going to have x to be equal to minus minus 1 close this bracket positive or negative then b squared here becomes minus 1 squared minus 1 squared then I have minus 4 times 1 because a is the coefficient of x and that is plus 1 then multiply by we have negative 1 for c we have negative 1 then this is all over 2 times 1 because a is still 1 from here x will be equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 1 plus 4 okay because minus 1 squared is 1 and then minus 4 times minus 1 will give us plus 4 the whole of this is over 2 if we take a step further then we shall have x to be equal to 1 positive or negative square root of 5 and this is over 2 okay so here we have another solution to the problem now let me bring the two solutions together we have the this is um, x equal to 1 plus or minus square root of 5 over 2 and then the other one that we got before is okay but this solution this um, other solution can also be processed and it will give you minus 3 positive or negative square root of 3i all over 2 now we're having i because of the negative square root okay so here we have four solutions to the problem thank you for watching